Come on, people. Get off your phone. video today we are heading out to the UPS store to drop off and return my purple panda microphone so I've done two videos now that have turned out so bad from audio crackling and popping that I had to scrap both videos so now I did some st research and I found out that some cheap headphones such as I think these are just some cheap like running wired headphones have actually worked better so I did some testing this morning and both other headphones that I use I tried three sets of headphones both of them that I use they turned out great uh, audio was good it was a little bit quiet but I think it was also tucked behind my cheek pad a little bit versus the purple panda was crackling and popping so bad even with coming to a stop audio is not too bad I am on a different helmet this time and the front of it is a little bit open so I know it was not wind related and so I'm returning to Purple Panda getting my 30 bucks back or whatever it is if you guys are looking at moto vlogging please do not go with the Purple Panda maybe I just got a bad bad set but it has not been a good experience so far for me so I gotta now refilm two videos <clears throat> trying to get as many videos out for you guys as possible one of the videos I had to scrap was learning how to wheelie day one. So because of that and the audio, I'm going to show the footage without any audio. Just so you guys can see the progress of day one and kind of get an idea of how I started out and go from there. This guy's in the center is wanting to cut over and get me. I am using a dirt bike helmet now, so if the audio is not great, that is also because of it, because it has an open front. So once I get another mount and I start using the other helmet, it will definitely make it a lot better, I would say. The UPS door opens in four minutes, I guess, so we should be just on time. So we'll get all that sent back out. Yeah. Then we'll go refilm my wheelie video. We'll go do some more wheelies. I'm starting to get the hang of it a little bit. Um, but it's, it's weird because I can... I wheelie an ATV with a clutch as long as I had gas in the tank, or at least I used to be able to. But you put me on a dirt bike or a motorcycle and it just scares the shit out of me. And I don't know why, so... I'm just trying to get used to the power of this little baby bike and how the clutch works and everything. It'll be really cool. I think within the next week or so I should be riding the wheelies at the balance point. <clears throat> right now I'm just getting used to lifting the lifting the front tire up and just kind of getting a feel for how the bike feels and everything. Wisconsin Sanitary License. They spelled license wrong. Yeah, they definitely did. It's only supposed to have one E. I did get my 14.2 sprocket. So that'll be super exciting this weekend. If I wasn't commuting on this bike to work every day, I would throw it on right now and learn wheelies, but I've got about a 35 minute ride to work every day trying to hit 55 miles an hour with a 14.2 sprocket it's not going to be fun I'd probably be at 10,000 rpm at 50 miles an hour we were getting it 55 miles an hour 58 I mean it, it does move when you need it to but it doesn't like to barely got enough power to get out of its own way. <clears throat> oh, 
All this construction down here is insane. That's kind of why I took the motorcycle. So I'm a little bit more maneuverable as far as getting through. And if I, I couldn't get my car through these cones right here to the left, but I was able to get the motorcycle through. So it's kind of a kind of helpful. This is gonna be so nice when it is all done, but they are taking forever on it. Look how much, I mean, this is gonna be twice as wide as it is right now. I didn't really think this was ever an issue, but it's gonna be nice when it's done, so. I've always wanted to reach over and touch a vehicle. Like riding next to like a, a vehicle or a semi or something, just reach over and touch it. Alright, just leaving the UPS store. Do a little red bomb inside the tunnel. The overpass. We are now heading to work. So, so I haven't vlogged in a while, but I wanted to kind of give you guys a little update on my life. Sarah and I are doing great. We're still very, very happy. Um, saving for a house currently, so that's been cool. The market is absolutely crazy. I just, I wanted it to go down. I don't know if it's gonna crash. Seems like everything's kind of just balancing out right now, so. We got another 10 months or so, and then we'll be we'll be getting a house. Um, preferably probably in the Kenosha area, if I were to guess, but we never know. Some lifestyle changes I made. I was 206 pounds when I finally decided to get out of my shell and do something about it. One sec, let's get in front of these cars. Yeah, I hit a 206 pound peak in my fat history, I guess you could call it, and decided I needed to do something different. Obviously what I was doing was not working. I'm trying to get a little bit more active. I'm now a week into a carnivore diet, so all I'm eating is meat and fruit. for waves. Oh, I'll wake up in the morning, I'll have a steak, and then for lunch I'll have some chicken and some fruit, strawberries, raspberries, anything, and then dinner I'll have maybe another steak, or some leftover chicken, or a pot roast or something, and I've never felt better. I literally, I feel like my brain is less foggy, I can concentrate a lot better, I feel better, I have more energy, um, I just overall, I don't know if I'm sleeping better, but I am losing weight, so I was at 206 like I said, I'm now down to 188, so that's a 18 pound difference I want to say, yeah 18, 18 pound weight loss so far, and I feel so good, so we're going to stick to it. But it's working, it's doing great, I'm feeling great. Everything else in life is getting better, so sticking to it. Sarah is actually currently sick right now with some stomach bug or flu or something. No fever, but she has not been feeling good the last couple of days. Do you guys want to know what it's like riding a motorcycle? For stoplights, don't know that you're there. This is what it's like. I'm trying to go straight here, but I've already known that this light will not recognize me. And thankfully, I get to just kind of go on the sidewalk a little. Come up. Push the button. It's now changing. And now it's green. Looks pretty sketchy to all the other cars around, but that's the only way I can get the lights to turn green. This is just a super cheap pair of headphones that I cut both earpieces off, and I just have the headphone jack straight to the microphone, and then that's just kind of tucked in my little cheek pad. And we're doing about 51 miles an hour right now, so hopefully 
the audio sounds for somewhat decent. It will get better when I get my other helmet set up. I, don't know, I set this one up to go practice wheelies. This is another one of those stop lights that I gotta go and hit the button. So I'm just trying to go straight, but there's no cars in the straight lane on either side of the intersection, so it'll just have the green arrow to turn left. There we go. And now I get the light, make sure no one's coming from behind me. And then from the sidewalk, we just continue. cars behind you, you can pull forward and wave them forward and have them trigger the light, but a lot of times if you're just there by yourself and there's no one around, then nothing you can do about it. If you guys look, these blue, blue airplane hangers, there's a skydive, I think it's called Skydive Midwest. They typically have Watch skydivers, they got the plane out, but no one's coming down right now. See, sometimes you can sit here and watch the airplanes land. And that's what I normally do after work on Saturdays. I just stop over there for 20 minutes, half hour, watch the planes take off and land, watch skydivers come down and land. It's really cool. I'd love to do it, but I'm absolutely terrified. I don't even like roller coasters. So believe it or not, I will not go on roller coasters. I don't know what it is about it, but I feel like I would have a better chance skydiving than I would going on a big roller coaster. All right, you guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's vlog. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Continue to have a fantastic day. If you guys did like the video, drop a like and leave a comment down below. Just come and say hi. Let's have a conversation. So we can talk about the bike, we can talk about whatever. The carnivore diet, let's do it. So hope to see you guys down in the comments below and we'll see you on the next one. See ya.